Mr. Krabs, if you really want this spatula that bad, you really want this gold, you could help me hit a few of these buttons, you know? Like, okay, you can't throw bubbles, sure. You could come stand on this for me. Like, just, just come stand right here. This will help. Nah, but you want me to do all the work, dude. Sound just, sound just like you, you cheap, greedy crab. Anyways, what's up, Ant City? And welcome back to some more SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last one, we started doing more of the Murma layer. We actually got a lot done. We were, we're basically already done with this place. Like, this right here is about to be like, what, our six spatulas? We only got like three more after that. Um, and then we've only got like two socks left and one more button, so we're, we're pretty close to being done. If things go correctly, we should finish this episode. And we left off trying to do this stupid ball puzzle because I, for some reason, just couldn't get it. So, we're going to go ahead and try it again. Um, this might be a montage. Like, again, right, like, right away we're starting the video off with a montage. That might have to happen, though, because this might take me a while. But we'll see what happens. So, we're just going to go ahead and get started. I kind of already know what to do, so... Yeah, so once that's about, like... Once that passes that loop, I think we can roll this out. Or miss completely. Miss again. No, please. Okay, or not. Or, or we can just not. It's going great already. Okay. I'm going to give it a few tries. Let's say within the... If I don't get it within the first three, then it's going to be a montage. Starting the video off. But, yeah, let's say... Let's see, like, right after that hook thing, that's when we'll roll this platform. I feel like that's a good spot. Okay, okay. I'm gonna run over here. We gotta be quick. We have to do It's really weird. You have to do this. Here we go. I almost died already. Okay, we got that. There, it's in the spoon. Okay. So then once it once this thing starts rolling down this way, we hit it. Once it's about halfway down. So yeah, it's gonna start rolling down here. Come on down. Okay. So once it starts coming like around this corner, we're gonna hit the button. And then we gotta run really fast to hit that other one. See, so yeah, once it's like behind that pillar, so right about now. Okay, it should be quick enough. Or, I mean, like, it shouldn't be too early, because like, last time I did it was way too early. Come on, come on, don't be too early, don't be. It's just on time, oh my god. It was like right there. Okay, then we gotta hope. I don't know what the hammer thing's about. Like, there's a button there, but I don't know what it does. So I guess we just gotta hope the hammer doesn't hit it off. Let's go. Okay, jump. Let's go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Yes, the robot don't move. Like that. I don't know what. That oh, it raises the hammer. I see. Okay. The final part of this is ro rolling this. Okay. Tilt, tilt, it, tilt, tilt. Oh, 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 oh! Get in the cup. Get in the cup. In the cup. In the cup. Get in the fuck. Get in the cup. Thank. Okay. There we go. Okay. We did it. Finally. Jeez. I thought that was gonna be much harder than it was. Let's hit this button now. No. Don't tell me I didn't hit the button. I rolled. I, ro I was about to hit it. Oh, we gotta do that all again. I was so happy. I thought we finally did. I'm just gonna cut back to when we're at the end again. Oh my god, that makes me so mad. We I literally was about to hit it last second too. Oh my god, okay. It really do be like that sometime. Okay, back at the thing. Did I get it? I, I, okay, I think I did it. I think I did it. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Okay. That took me, like, three more tries, but we got it. Oh, my. I was... I, I think we just got an achievement. I heard a notification sound. I don't know if y'all heard it, too, but... Oh, my God. I got so worried because I heard. I saw the cutscene play. I was like, did I miss again for real? But no, I didn't. Okay. Let's talk to Mr. Krabs now. Well done, SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll give you a promotion. A promotion? Sure. You'll get a whole extra 10 seconds added to your break time. Woo! 20 second break! Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Whoa! 
that means I have a negative 20 second break. Oh, thanks, Mr. Krabs. Bro, see, I might have taken him up on that offer if he helped me get this bachelor. You know how much I struggled? You could have helped. You could have, you could have like stood on that button or something. Had he helped me, I might have given it to him. But now nah, we taking this for ourselves. He didn't help me. And then he's got has the audacity to reduce my break time. Like, get out of you! Definitely not getting this thing. Just you mad that I just didn't want to give it to you, bro? I deserve this way more than you do. Also, there's a shiny object in there. I kind of want to know how you did it. I'll probably go in here like this. Up here, yep. There we go. There you get that. Perfect. All right. But yeah, Mr. Krabs did not help us one bit, and he wants the, he wants us to re he wants to reap the rewards. Like, bro, that's on character. Fresh, for him, like a spring breeze. Anyways, we finally finished that, so let's head to the Mermelair main chain. Oh no, we're turned, so that's going back. So I think we're looping around. So I guess we hit all of the override buttons then. Yeah, we came from that side. So yeah, okay, let's head in. Let's go. All right, yep, we're back here. So, did we not hit all the things here? Let's talk. SpongeBob, press all. No, we didn't hit all the buttons. Okay, so what are we what are we missing? Uh, we might need to explore around a bit to figure out which buttons we haven't hit. How to get some bath salts. Okay, we're back up here with Patrick now. See, there's this Stupid. button. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize Patrick could just hit it himself. Th that's literally all it was. Okay. I just try I just literally tried it just because I was just clicking and then it worked. Okay. That's all we need to do. Okay, let's go switch back to SpongeBob now and then I'll meet y'all at the couch. I'm taking damage. Oh my god! He just blew up his own friend! Y'all saw that? He threw the tactical nuke at that robot and it killed him. Alright, well, let's see what the computer has to say for me now. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. Alright, cool. Let's grab our spatula. And then we're gonna hit this master shutdown button and then we out of here. So now that lowered the platform, yep. And I just realized that, yeah, that area that I was trying to get to with the pipes, that's literally, I, I literally was already there. I don't know why I didn't realize that. Look at this. Oh, this bubble? It didn't really do anything. All right. So now let's head this way and see what's in store over here. So let's go. Oh, we can't jump across all the way. Okay. Yeah, let's enter the villain containment system area. There's, there's probably something big over here that we gotta fight, but we'll find out. Let's go! Well, the security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's VCS. That's villain containment system. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn! Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes, but now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? 
I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man. Okay, so we got a little boss fight here with Prawn. Oh, Jesus. Uh, let's run around. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, so I'm just gonna run. Catch it up with me. What are we supposed to do? Oh, I get it. So that thing will lower eventually. Okay. I get it. I get it. We, we just we took too much damage, but okay. I understand now. So, yeah. Ready for another fantastic day. All right, let's go. We just got to run from his attack. For a while. There are little pauses between that we can take advantage of. But now he's going and attacking. What do we do? Bubble balls? I don't know what we're supposed to do to hurt him. <laughs> I think we bubble ball. Yeah, this isn't that bad. It's all about just like nine. So I think we have to do that. Yeah, that's what we do to damage him. Okay. It's just three hits. That shouldn't be too bad. Except I'm really low and I'm probably gonna die. So that would not be fun. <laughs> this fight has like a really cool like a stick. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. I think I think I can do it. Also, I didn't realize Prawn was that small. <laughs> well, I, I am small. I feel like a new sponge. It's gonna be an annoying boss, I can already tell. Like look, I literally can't do anything but just take damage. Can I jump over it? Oh, I can jump over it. Okay. <laughs> that actually helps a lot. Okay. There we go. Ball. There we go. So, yeah, we. Okay. That actually makes this like 10 times easier. We can just jump over the thing. It's coming from us. Yeah. There we go. That makes this like a lot easier, actually. Like, genuinely makes this 10 times easier. Whoa. Got a hammer to it. Ooh, look at that combo. Out. Jump over, there we go. See, we can just do these little dodge tricks and stuff. And Prawn's almost there. Okay, yeah, this boss fight's easy. I just didn't know you could jump. Earlier. Now now that I know that, it's like, yeah, ten, way easier. Avoid the attack. I'm back in. I want to run away from all those hammer guys. That's why I'm coming over here. And then, whenever he runs out of... Whenever he's, you know, tired, remember his lungs get out. There we go. Where we roll out? Right here. Oh! oh. Got him. Oh! No, no, not again! This is not fair! I got a frozen wedgie for this! Is this the end of Prawn? Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie! My name's SpongeBob. Here! I found this in my sock drawer! Next to a bunch of pink socks! It's another golden spatula! Thank you, Mermaid Man! I shall always live my life by your shining example! Let goodness and kindness- Are you still here? Like, <laughs> get out! <laughs> Alright, we got this spatula. So, is that all the spatulas for the area? Okay, so we can actually walk back over here if we wanted. To. Is there anything for us here? We got an achievement. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not missing any socks or anything from this area, but it looks like I'm not. It looks like we can just look around. Where did Prana go? I guess the floor must have opened up or something. He's just gone. Uh, yeah, let, let's check the map. So we got, yeah, we got all the spatulas. We are missing two socks. I don't know where, but I guess we can worry about that later because if you look at other areas, I'm missing a lot of socks. So we're probably just going to have an episode where I just go back and get all the socks. So I'm not going to worry about trying to get all of them first run now. 
So, yeah, I guess for now, though, we're done with the Mermaid layer. So, let's head... Let's head back up. Uh, you know, I'm going to walk back and try to find socks on the way. But if I don't, then I'll, I'll just cut right back to the beginning. Oh, okay. So I just realized we could spin this platform to get into here. So this might be... Oh, no, it's just a shiny object. Okay. I thought there might be a sock in here, but no. Um, yeah, all right, so I guess we're just going to go back again. Okay, so another thing I just thought about, too, is we never use this thing as Patrick. So I just want to see if that'll lead anywhere important. If not, though, we'll just leave. So let's see what's going on. Okay, yeah, I just launched us back by the computer. Okay. Uh, so the socks must be further in. That must be where I missed them. But we'll worry about that later. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and leave. Uh, SpongeBob, how do I get out of here? Well, that depends. Do you want the booby-trapped or the non-booby-trapped exit? Non-booby-trapped, please. Then go that way. <laughs> or maybe it was that way. All right, so now we're back here at the entrance of the Mermaid Lair. Also, I just did we ever use that thing over there, that hook thing? I don't think we ever did that one. Hold on. Let's hold on. Let's talk to them because yeah, I think that might lead to a sock. So hold on, we might have some extra stuff to do here. Let's talk to them. See There's what still plenty of robot. robots. Robots. <laughs> see what Barnacle West said. Talk to me. Talk to me. It won't let me talk. Okay. Um, we're gonna head back in the box and cause yeah, that hook I definitely have not used. So let's see what that's about. Yeah, let's go this way. It's the quickest way to get up there. Yeah, there's a sock in there. See? Okay. So there's gotta be something I can do. Maybe it's about spinning this map. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Yeah, there's, there's gotta be something I can do to use that hook. It's gotta be spinning this platform. Maybe we can spin it like all the way. Well, yeah, look, we can. I didn't notice it. We need to keep spinning it. Okay. Maybe we just gotta spin it far enough to where we can get out here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. See? Glad I noticed it. And that gives you. us a sock. Patrick needs to do laundry. Uh, no, Alright, let's get out. Cool, so now we're only missing one sock, which it's probably something else, like another puzzle like this, where you just spin the platform. Anyways, though. Now, for real this time, we are going to leave the Merma there. So let's go. All right, back at the beginning now. So we're going to go ahead and just head out the Merma lair. So let's go back to the rest of home. Ah, uh, checkers. The king of non-contact sports. All right, yep, we back into here. So let's, let's walk outside. All right, we're back out here at the rest home and back to the bottom. So yeah, as I was saying before though, we now have enough spatulas to where I could open up this area. Oh, you see on the Krusty Krab sign, I think that's another health upgrade, an underwear upgrade, I guess. But um, we're not gonna go, we're not gonna do that yet though, because we still have one more area, which is Sand Mountain to do. But we're gonna actually save that for next time. You know, this video has been about as long as the usual episode. We got through the rest of the Merma layer today, so that's good progress. Um, yeah, we've, we've gone through a lot already, though. We did these areas. We do have to go back to some of them. Like, let me check the map. I'm pretty sure like, Jellyfish Fields, we're still missing half the socks. Uh, but we do still... I, I remember when we first explored this area, there was some stuff I couldn't do anything with yet. Um, like, I think I need, like, some... I think I need, uh... Cause there, see, I think here... Oh, there's one area that says, oh no i didn't want to travel there no thing uh there's one that says like come back is it here yeah it says come back with the cruise bubble i think i need that ability to get more stuff even though in in down to bikini bottom we ironically got all the socks it's just a spatula um but like for jellyfish fields there were some other things that i think i need more abilities for so yeah we'll do that later but um yeah, for now, though, we're basically done. Uh, we only are missing one sock. But like I said, we're probably going to just have, like, an episode where I just go back getting all the socks I missed. So, yeah. But I'm 
pretty sure that that's everything for now though yeah because look herma layer is all done except for that one sock it rock bottom which is this area was crazy next we have sand mountain but from the looks of it we're gonna be here for a bit this looks like a pretty long area so this might take us a few episodes but yeah we're gonna end this episode off right there though we're gonna go stand in front of sand mountain actually just so that way next next episode we just start right back up at that sand mountain all right so right here so yeah anyways though Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button if you're new or even if you're not new and you just want to know when I'm uploading, you don't want to miss an upload, you can subscribe and hit that notification bell if you please. But yeah, that's it for this video though. If you liked it that much, make sure you should put it down into your favorite playlist and make sure you share it around to your grandma, your grandpa, your manager, your coworker, whoever you want to send it to. And yeah, until next time though, I'll see you guys later and... Peace! Have a good day or night.